Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Slop, and today we're listening to some more Patreon requests. Today the request is Nickelback San Quentin, requested by Patreon member Onyxia. Thank you, Onyxia. So, this is our first to dive into Nickelback on uh, the channel here. Now, in the past I have uh, made fun of Nickelback in my teenage years because they were not punk enough they were not metal enough they were just kind of very radio friendly right but like over the years i've learned they have a lot of not radio friendly songs and quite a diverse uh track of songs so uh i am i'm excited to get back into some nickelback you know like i said i've heard of what, what are the ones i like um burn it to the ground is a cool one it's one of their very metal ones um I don't know, dude. I don't really listen to Nickelback, right? So I think that's the only one that I can think of that I would listen to right now. Well, I'm about to listen to San Quentin, so buckle up, buttercup. All right, so before we get into the song, uh, I have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash John Slop, where you can get early access to my videos and help the channel grow even more. And uh, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. All right, so with that, we're going to jump right on in. Feet first into Nickelback, San Quentin. Okay, this effing riff, the way the song started out, <laughs> that is so funny how we were just talking about, uh, like, the more metal Nickelback songs and how that's kind of like what I like about them, how they kind of have a wide variety of different sounds to their songs, and this one, I think I'm definitely going to come back to this one. It's almost like they were like, yo, you don't think we can, we can pump some metal jams, dude? Think again. All right, let's get back into it. Back inside. 
All right. No, that was a good, a good Nickelback song, definitely. You know, they still kind of have this like country kind of like twang to their sound, like a pop kind of country sound that definitely 15 year old me would not be a fan of. But, you know, I've since gotten over kind of, you know, judging it based on that. Like it, it serves its purpose, right? Like it's good songwriting material, you know, it's, um, it's just catchy. And, uh, you know, the song was dang all metal, dude. It was metal. Metal as hell. I enjoyed it a lot. San Quentin. Why do you have to stay out of San Quentin? Uh, so let's take a look at the lyrics on this one. Let's get this circus on down the road. We're taking bets how far the tank of gas will go. Call up your best friend, then call two more. About about to do some shit that you ain't seen before. There ain't no back door, there ain't no sign. Location changes almost every other night. Last time we found it, can't remember much. I thought I was God until my lawyer woke me up and said, I testify that I was right out of my mind. Let the record show I did it all for rock and roll. Screaming every night, playing 25 to life. So somebody please keep me the hell out of San Quentin. Ah, so I got super drunk. And, uh, maybe partied a little too hard in San Quentin. Just keep me out of San Quentin. Keep me out of the San Quentin. Got out on bail. We hit the town. Somebody told me we should burn it to the ground. Whoa. Sequel to burn it to the ground. Too many favors, too much to drink. Come 6 a.m. They had me back inside the clink. <laughs> back inside prison, dude. I'm going to testify that I was right. Right. The chorus again. Let's skip to the bridge. Tough to find a goddamn alibi. Wrong or right, it's tough to justify. Can't dismiss too many witnesses when insanity's the pattern. It don't matter what it is. <laughs> Damn, I'm guessing this is just a story, dude. I don't think this really happened to Chad Kroger or anybody in the band. I hope not, at least. You know, there's no about section. Oh, there is a little bit, right? Um, I met the San Quentin... So this is a quote from Chad Kroger via WRAT. I met the San Quentin prison warden at a party, and I couldn't believe how young he was. I was like, there's just no way that you're the warden of San Quentin. And everyone was like, yep, he is. Guy Fieri's American restaurateur author, blah, blah, blah. Guy Fieri's a buddy of mine, and I was at his birthday party a few years back. And the entire time we were talking, I'm like... I'm speaking to this guy, but in my head, all I could think about was, I'm going to write a song called San Quentin. That's it. And I stuck it in my notes in my phone. And then once the riff was down, I think I screamed out this line. Can somebody please keep me the hell out of San Quentin? And we just took it from there. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So it's not actually about this pr prison warden that looked too young. Uh, just kind of... Grew from the name San Quentin. Gotcha. Very interesting. All right. What do you think of the song? Uh, you know, thank you, Onyxia, for showing me this. Very surprising, to say the least. I was not expecting a metal track. Literally, every time I hear the name Nickelback, I think photograph. <laughs> uh, what's the first track you think of when you hear Nickelback? All right. Well, thanks for coming along, everybody. Make sure we thank the gold tier patrons. We have Adam Sanford, Gary Milstead, HRH King Lurks, Joseph Wilger, Onyxia, Peter K, Tammy Curtis, Allo Trope, Richie G, Todd Weiler, Jim Tatro, Mark Gettemeyer, Carmen Graziano, Dirk, Robert D. Hassinger, Brett King, Kip Staley, Jason Unger, and Bob Kern. Thank you, every single one of the Patreon members. All right, make sure to go on over to patreon.com slash John Slop for your early access and to help the channel grow even more. And make sure to leave a like and a subscribe and have a good rest of your day. All right, I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.